Gymshark is coming out with their everywhere collection. The last two weeks don't even compare. My budget this week, 53 cents. Yeah. to my youtube channel it's your fitness bestie kayla lachey and i'm about to do my hair right now because it looks a hot freak mess it's giving a hot day today i'm in that energy of hitting full body and wanting to tap into my gym baddie aesthetic and i have part of my outfit on right now so i'm gonna do like back and booty pretty much i'm not gonna be able to work out tomorrow i'm gonna celebrate easter with my family so i'm gonna take that day off i don't know i've been loving full body workouts and i'm super excited it is friday so i'm probably trying to leave soon because you already know the dmv traffic is a hot mess and i want to go and get some stuff from trader joe's i tend to go on fridays just to pick up stuff to have on the weekends like those lazy girl food items i know i'll be home super late after you know celebrating easter that i'm gonna want something really quick to prepare so um i'll show you guys my gym fit when we get to it but for my hair i'm a curly natural and my go-to hairstyle is literally a top knot bun or i'll do like a slick back or something like that my hair is kind of damp i got it a little bit wet in the shower this morning but it has a nice bit of volume because i had washed it last night get some like face framing pieces i feel like that always looks super cute with like a hat like a hairstyle make it look a little bit more messy and it's early so the sun keeps going in and out i don't like too many pieces out because i'm going to the gym and i don't like my hair grazing on equipment or snagging on stuff um i already suffer personally with a lot of single strand knots and the internet said you should be doing things like braiding your hair twisting your hair less wash and goes and putting it in buns more stretched out styles so i'm trying to work on that this year so i don't like to do my fro out sometimes i do on the weekends but personally it's just led me to cut off like a good two three inches this past winter so i'm just gonna spray it i don't really want to brush my hair because i just feel like i want it to be kind of voluminous in the back i don't really do my hair like this so i don't know what to do it's not like a dad hat style which i personally prefer i have a petite pea size head so i have it all the way on the smaller setting and i feel like just tying it in like a messy bun and then just styling the fringe pieces is probably my best bet like i already feel like a gym baddie because i'm like focused wearing a hat really does help me focus in the gym on what i got going on and not everybody else don't worry i'm gonna um define these curls I just wanted to look like hey she has curly hair so i definitely wanted to have some fringe out i just don't know how to tie my bun like should it be messy should it be a messy Ooh, a ponytail would be cute oh i've seen girls do like claw clips with their hats it's getting a soccer mom <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should tie it in a ponytail first so it stays. Get a second hair tie because you already know we don't have time for stuff falling out. Second hair tie and just like tie it in a messy bun, I guess. I don't freaking know. Okay more water <laughs> this sun is really doing a lot honestly i feel like it's making my face look like my makeup look cuter so i'm just gonna rake the water through there's still quite a bit of product from last night but i might add some more it's giving me summer vibes I want it to be like a soft hold so i'm gonna add my favorite i switched over to the multicultural 
I tend to bounce between this and the Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls, so I'll link these below. I just have a hard time finding this at my Target, so when I do, I tend to grab it. It smells way better, in my personal opinion, compared to the Pillow Soft Curls. Like, girl, that with my Shea Moisture... Um, why is it so dark? My Shea Moisture shea butter leave-in that i like oh my god your hair will smell so good so that's like my combo right now which again i'll link my everyday styling products but i'm just gonna rake that through so we can get some clumps of curls i'm not gonna put gel because i tend to lay off on the gel recently i just don't like how hard and crispy and dried out my hair feels so this will keep it like a soft hold and still define you don't even need, like, that's honestly too much. <laughs> so I'm just going to rake that through and smooth it. And I feel like that just makes the hat hairstyle look so much cuter if you have curly hair. And of course, it'll get frizzy throughout my workout when we sweat and stuff. I should have left some out in the kitchen. So I'm going to get some pieces back here and also use whatever's left on my fingers. See, this hat is too big, but it's cute, so I'm a looking guess. Maybe I need to break in the visor. That's probably what I need to do. Y'all bend your visors, let me know, because it did come more straight. But I feel like my bun is really secure. I feel like it'd be really cute if you had more curls like left out in the back, but I feel good about that. My hair being tucked away, so. That's pretty much it for my hairstyle. Oh my god, this is so cute. I need to get this hat in black because I feel like this color doesn't necessarily go with all my gym fits. I have a beige one as well, but you just can't go wrong with a black hat, especially with like summer and our hot girl walks. Like why is, put the headphones on, don't talk to me. <laughs> why is this giving me like, that girl came to the gym today to work and will. And freaking will so let me show you guys part of my gym fit um, I'm wearing all black this is a Gymshark reversible halter bra because back day slay and then I can't get enough of the adapt safari shorts because they are my perfect bottom I already need more colors because I've been wearing them constantly I am pretty sure my last workout I wear these black ones they are probably the least in your face they're printed still but still like more wearable in the sense that you can probably wear them every other day if you want it and no one's going to come for you in the gym and if they do who cares so these are like great i've been doing like my cardio in them i'm going to put sweats on though because it is pretty cold still and i like to do upper body with sweatpants and um, for my lower body, I'm going to grab a long sleeve top to actually match, but I have it on the reversible side. The other side is just all black, but I thought this gave it a really cute, like sporty vibe. And this is a small and they came out with a ton of new colors. And then the bottoms I wear in a medium, but I'll link all these below for you girls. And y'all already know if you guys want to shop Gymshark, run up the code Lache at checkout. We'll save you guys 10% off everything all the time so i'm gonna go get my stuff together because i gotta go grab something to eat and i want it to be out of here in like literally 10 minutes gymshark is coming out with their everywhere collection now i bought these from the uk i don't recommend i know a lot of my girls are in the us so i had to pay taxes i had to pay 35 dollars for shipping i had to pay something called a duties I don't know what a duties is, but maybe I know what it is now. It's expensive. <laughs> it was like six extra dollars on top of the actual price of the items because it's coming from the UK. So I will never do that again. But I'm so excited because that means Gymshark is dropping these on their website. I saved it in my calendar. I'm going to wear these today. I already washed these joggers and they don't shrink, which is exactly why I think that a lot of girls, if you have longer legs like me, will really appreciate. So these come out on April 10th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got both of these in a, a large, U.S. large, and this one I'm going to wear to the gym today. So these are the joggers in the black colorway. They're coming in a ton of different shades. I have the brown. I also have the slate in my room. This looks very similar to like the slate colorway, so honestly, I feel like you don't need both the black and the slate. So it has a really nice luxe waistband and the draw cord is very 
rugged but it's like thick and high quality like these sweats when i tell you gymshark is coming for the essentials they are coming for yeezy they are coming for skims it's all those like luxe brands in this collection which is the everywhere collection so they're doing like a ton of other like sweats without the draw cord and brighter pastels i'll definitely be picking those up when they do launch and they're doing like a drop set so from my understanding they're going to be dropping on the gymshark app on april 10th at 12 eastern standard time two days before they come out on the website so once the stock is gone it's basically gone but you can get early access by downloading the app so I downloaded the Gymshark app because I didn't have it and I definitely want them after like look at this inseam I'll put in a picture of the washed pair on the back and then over top of it is a brand new pair that I picked up and they did not shrink at all and I'm able to pull these literally under my foot which is like unheard of if you guys know my saga with Gymshark joggers so when I say these are the best joggers that Gymshark has period take my word for it save your money for the launch and I don't think you'll be disappointed they are a little bit on the pricier side but I will pay it and I did pay it I bought one pair first and I fell in love with it after it washed been wearing them around the house i was like no we need to go get some more because i definitely can't live without these and then the inside which i think is really important to show you guys what the material is it kind of resembles the rest day except more luxe it's a little bit softer and thicker and it's just a really nice jogger i personally feel like this is good if you live in colder climates i know for me i run cold as a person i could be freezing outside at 90 degrees whatever but that's just me like i'll wear these all year round and they come with hoodies crew necks i bought the long sleeve here to go with it because i felt like it was more versatile to wear as an overlayer and i don't really need a ton more hoodies so i'm gonna be picking up more of those long sleeves and some more of the sweatpants i believe they have like shorts and again for sizing i picked up a large and I like the fit. I like the fit when I bought it and I like the fit even more after I washed it because it's still baggy. It's still very much so full length on me. And I will show you guys what I'm talking about when I say, hold up now, when I say that these literally come, like this is after I've washed them, you guys. This is how my joggers should fit. I love that there's extra material bunching. Some people might not like that if you're a shorter person, but for my tall girls, my long leg girls, these are the joggers for you. And they just fit so freaking well. So I'm really excited to go work out and hit back day because I like to wear sweatpants over my shorts. Something about it with like the bra, I don't know, it's just giving gym baddie. So I'm really obsessed with these. I definitely wanted to tell you guys about them because I know they came out with a ton of stuff. Literally yesterday, I personally am saving my coins for this drop because it's definitely a very like basics line, meaning you can wear it in the gym, outside the gym. It's kind of timeless. The quality is more luxe from my understanding of what the Everywhere collection is. Um, I know if you live in the UK, any of my girls watching, let me know. You can go to Selfridges and buy them um, and see it in person. But again, in the US, I would just get it on the website to save because I spent a stupid amount of money, two orders, literally like over $100 on duties and shipping. I could have got a whole new outfit for that, but you know, I did it for you guys so I could show you guys what these pieces are like in real life and they have the cutest logoing and it's just very like minimal, it'll focus, if you know, you know type vibe. It's like a rubberized petite tonal logo on the back of the shirt so love that and then on the joggers it's the same style on one side of the leg underneath the pocket so i'll show you guys the color comparisons that i have i don't know if i should do like an a actual review they have short sleeves because i want to pick up some more pieces and give you guys a haul but i just could not wait to wear these when i've got it in the mail so i wanted to make sure that i talked about it so the top is also in a large this is better quality to me than their other t-shirts um actually if you've picked up the recent washed like tie-dye looking tops that i showed you guys in my last haul it feels like that material to me and the similar fit 
and for me that's more luxe that's what i like so i bought it in black and i also bought it in like this light gray they have like a, a beautiful like brown color and white so i'll be picking those up when they do launch but like the sleeve length it's a nice oversized fit so size up one size if you want it to be like a comfortable really baggy loose fit um and if you want it to be more fitted but slightly oversized you can definitely go true to size with these and I think these might be men's. They could be unisex. When it comes to the sizing as a female, I feel like you can get the same size as your women's sizing and you'll be happy with the fit of it. I don't really ever think that they run really big in comparison. These, however, are much longer than the men's joggers. There's more space in like the glute area. It's truly a baggy, oversized, relaxed fit it's giving that luxe girl out of the gym and this is exactly what we needed from gym shark i'm telling you if you like the essentials look you like the yeezy season like this would look so good with yeezy foams and yeezy slides yeezy sneakers like it's very much so giving that your new balance 90 60s those chunky dad shoes put on a hat a cute little chest bag i'm going to get coffee i'm going to trader joe's and i will which is where i'm going today and they're nice muted out neutrals like this is black but to me it looks like a dark gray like in comparison to black you see what i'm saying so it's a very ashy muted out shade it's giving worn in street style it's giving kayla lachey's perfect collection so thank you so much to gymshark for coming out with this because i'm gonna need everything so i'm saving my money for that if you guys want to see a full haul when those things do drop and I'm, you know, shopping for them and I get them, let me know in the comments below. But as you can see, I'm wearing it over top of my workout set and it looks good. It feels good and I'll have to wear like a hoodie or something. So what you can do with this top, because it is so baggy, if you guys can see the length. Like I said, it fits pretty much the same to me as the, I'll put them here, the rest day tops, which I'm obsessed with. I had to buy every color. They're long in length, so when I do legs today and I take off my sweats, which you guys will see, it'll still cover my glutes, which I love. But you could also take it and tuck it into your sports bra. A lot of the girlies love to do this to create that oversized like baggy crop top. I don't buy crop tops like this that are already short because I find them to be so pointless. So tucking your tops makes it more versatile. And you can still have that like baggy loose fit very relaxed and i just think it looks good you could also just tuck it in the back like the girls do as well cover the gut show the butt type of a vibe and if you want you can even wear it like a little shrug take a cute little gym selfie so they're very versatile if you like the oversized stuff like me i love this like i don't really love wearing tight clothes all the time especially when we're used to wearing like tight leggings and tight sports bras in the gym it's just nice to have something like this to just throw on after we get home from running to the gym and doing our errands and stuff like that so i'm obsessed i'm really obsessed so i'll put the details down below because it is kind of confusing when i first saw this i ran to selfridges online because i heard that it was exclusive to selfridges which is what the website said so i said oh hold up now that's my vibe i'm copying this because i don't want to miss out things were selling out and i was like nah i need to get it so when they said that they're doing a drop set and it's coming out to the app and it's like a limited edition i was like perfect i can get some more and i don't have to pay duties because that was annoying so god bless all the canadian girlies and everybody else who pays duties all the time couldn't it be me because no i'm gonna just show you guys right now because i probably realistically won't have time to do a video on this when they do come out and i want to actually give you guys time to decide what you want to pick up so these are those tie-dye tops i was talking about that just launched for the menswear like this bag is such the vibe of like this outfit like this is what i'm saying like all these pieces go so well for outside of the gym space if you picked up one of these tops it feels very similar to this like even like the ribbing on the the cuffs here the wash is pretty similar the muted out tones like it's giving this 
material this fits so if you liked this top i highly recommend snatching the everywhere ones they also came out with it in blue that i just got in as well this is so beautiful for the spring if you want some you know a pop of color but still kind of toned down and muted out it's giving like a denim again i got these in a large like these are my favorite tops that gymshark has and i don't have like long sleeves like this so very comparable and they match so nicely with the everywhere joggers this is the brown color they also have a green but that one was sold out so i might try to pick it up this one is unwashed so again i'll put a picture on the screen of what this looks like over top of the washed pair so the brown is just stunning i'm torn between getting a hoodie or a zip up to match as a set and then this is the same shirt that i'm wearing right now in a light gray i love this like even sleeping in these tops they're that comfortable but still durable to wear in the gym or for running errands or whatever you want they're very nice stretchy cotton kind of reminds me a lot of the honor active honor your body material maybe slightly thicker if you guys have that which i love that material personally so this also has a white colorway coming out and a light brown from my understanding from online and you can see how similar these colors are this is slate i'm wearing black they're dang near the same so if you want a lighter gray or a darker gray just decide you don't need both unless you're obsessed like me then yes but i wanted to show you guys in true lighting they would mix and match obviously so nicely together but they are very freaking similar so that's what i'm talking about when i say like it's not black it's just like a dark gray so this is in sunlight it almost has like a blue gray oh, i need to wash these i haven't washed them yet after i spilled something on my joggers and you can see that beautiful tonal logo i'm just obsessed with how elevated these look and feel to me it's absolutely worth the price point I had to get these for you guys because I wanted to give you guys my thoughts in person. I have not seen reviews on this yet. So let me be the first girly to tell you guys all about it. So I'm excited to work out in these today. Again, these are some of the colors that you can get. I just love the wash of this. It just, again, looks so good with all these things. This is the most bright. It doesn't really fall into this collection. But I, again, will personally say that it's very comparable to the quality of these tops the month of march is almost over and we're gonna be going into april so i definitely wanted to get into a reset with you guys at some point in this video i want to go over some reflections of this month and how i did consistency wise in comparison to the last three months since doing my spring reset and i also want to kind of just hone in on my goals i did weigh myself last night i don't really weigh myself it can mess with my mental mindset and i learned that early on coming from a girl that used to be very skinny and you know i wanted to start gaining weight and all that kind of stuff sometimes i do feel like when i see a bigger number on the scale like yes progress but other times i might weigh myself and see a number and i feel like oh like what the heck and i'm not too obsessed with whatever it is that i see that's why i don't like to weigh myself but I also weighed myself at the end of the night with a baggy sweat set on and I was like this is not accurate it said 155 which I love that for me I've never in my life weighed 155 the heaviest was probably 150 so I think maybe tomorrow I'll just do a little check-in in the morning before I have coffee or water or anything and no clothes on and weigh myself again just so I could see like a true guesstimate the last time I did weigh myself though was 147 months ago i couldn't even tell you when it was so long ago i barely use the scale personally it's not a measure of how i feel my progress is doing i always like to gauge my strength in the gym how my clothes are fitting me photos are my best bet and then measuring tape like if ever i want to see any progress i'll whip out like a measuring tape measure my glutes measure my thighs and see in comparison from there which i honestly haven't even done in a while so that would be nice to be able to kind of do a little refresh and check in so i definitely want to do that tomorrow when um i have like true measurements but i have my bagel here 
and i've been loving these as you guys know it's just the oatly it's a mess <laughs> excuse me it's the oatly cream cheese with a cinnamon raisin bagel just the wegmans brand which i honestly like i can't talk i honestly like these better than the dave's killer it has a better taste and consistency the protein is literally the same if not maybe a gram or two off so that's what we're having for the gym and i need to charge my phone because i was taking some photos for my instagram trying to just be ahead of myself when it comes to content so i'm not scrambling to get something to post when i want to post something and i'm trying to find my consistency because you know i use my apple watch to track everything i'm not gonna hold you i did take three days off this week from the gym it was raining and i use that as work days because the month is coming to an end and i just had a lot of things i need to finish up so has it been the best this week considering tomorrow i'm also not going to the gym due to easter dinner with my family so i'll pick things back up on the last day of the month which will be sunday so and i don't like to go to the gym as you can see on the weekends because it's so busy and for me it doesn't work for my schedule of like wanting to vlog and hang out with you guys there because you're not supposed to film on the weekends when it's busy so i don't know i'm just hoping to get in on sunday have a great workout today not be too hard on myself because these last two weeks were really freaking good i'm loving like the four days a week it's really nice four or five day workouts yeah love that for me and if i compare that to february like yes girl the last two weeks don't even compare to where we were coming from also in comparison to january which was a hot ass mess so are we doing better than we were yes could we have been better in the gym this week yes but am i gonna sit here and beat myself up no i'm not because i've been doing what i need to do and focusing on work stuff as well for balance but again april i want to be more consistent and have like my rings all closed out every week of the month since i did kind of jump back into my routine mid-march on tuesday is like the 12th so that was like an odd day anyway to kind of start again so i think starting on a monday april 1st is on a monday is going to be amazing so i'm very much so interested to see how april's going to go and i hope it doesn't have like a lot of rain because you know what they say like april showers bring me flowers but the weather really does make me feel off and like i don't want to drive in the rain with these crazy people on the streets they don't know how to drive in the rain so i'm like nah i'll stay home but I need to start utilizing my gym in the community if I'm gonna do that because then I'm just like not doing anything for a day when I could easily go do like a dumbbell workout or a cardio and core day instead of just not going all together. So maybe I'll try to implement more of that within April so I'm still getting activity without feeling like, dang, I gotta drive so far in crappy weather or because I'm lazy or because I'm working all day and I don't have time to like, spend my whole time at the gym and coming home and all that so i think i might have to have some of those in the mix but it doesn't motivate me to go there i don't want to film there i don't even want to be in there it's just i don't love it but i'd rather just drive <laughs> if i'm going to be doing all of that but we'll see i am happy though with my progress and my initial like reset to start with my goals again with my fat loss and muscle building like i'm feeling really good about that i'm actually excited to go to the grocery store today and get some stuff and think about what it is that i want to make like meal plan wise so i'll think about that when i'm in the sauna i guess and give you guys a grocery haul as well so on that note i'm gonna go because my battery is dying and i also really quickly have an oxy shred and slimer they came out with new flavors in the ghostbusters collab and i really want to get my hands on them so i can taste test them for you girls but slimer is definitely in my top three so of course i'm gonna have this and you guys can shop ehp labs and get all my fave subs for a discount k10 to save additional 10 percent off on like their 60 percent off bundles which is such a great way to stock up on your essential supplements if you're a subs girly
shut the fuck up. out felt like I was gonna pass out while I was gonna do legs but then you guys I wanted to get ahead of my goals for April I guess there was an opportunity to use the Smith the bench was already there I was like F it let's freaking go so I played around with RDLs on the Smith machine definitely needed my belt for it because I just really felt it in my back I don't feel it in my back when I do it on the v squat machine so i definitely prefer good morning so far on the v squat but again that was my first time really doing it and for april one of my goals was to try something different and implement that within the workouts that i'm doing so smith machine yeah i ended up doing sumo squats oh my god split squats that's why i was gonna pass out and some good mornings the only thing i didn't get around to doing was reverse deficit lunges but i was literally like fit to pass out so i left that for another day and i also left my hip thrust for another day because i did full body today like i was really done after my upper body but i really wanted to push myself since i'm not going to the gym tomorrow look at the calluses they hurt so bad i had so much trouble with my grip today that's why i was struggling with those rdls i should use my straps but i was like oh 25 pounds that's slight work no girl calluses cannot so anyway i wanted to pop on here that was my reason is to talk about my fitness goals they're literally the same pretty much as my spring reset vlog so just being consistent and working on my splits so if you want to go watch that video go check it out i'll put it in the cards and also like 
introducing new exercises like I said I got a head start on that today and that's the Smith machine in my routine and I really want to work on my pull-ups like I did them today and I'm like loving them and that was something as a reflection like last month or this current month in March that I was just like loving and I was so like shy and afraid of trying that and girl it's become like my favorite thing so Moral of the story is don't be afraid to try new things in the gym. If you've been eyeing a piece of equipment, you know, challenge yourself to like utilize it, try it out, play around with it and figure out how it works and you might be obsessed with it. So I definitely wanna work on that. I think I have a solid back and shoulders routine. I love doing the lateral raises, the pull-ups, lat pull-downs, seated rows, bent over rows. Like I just love a good back day. And, you know, for April, I just want to focus on Smith Machine and getting back into doing things that I used to do, like, two years ago. I was very much so on this Smith because that was all my gym really had at the time. Um, and I kind of, I guess, got tired of it and straight away. But I want to kind of go back to doing split squats. They're really good. And I was looking at my footage today and my legs coming in thick. It could be because I weigh 155 now. I love that for me. But, like, girl, they look at real thick. So I'm feeling really strong for the most part and then obviously just keeping up with my consistency because That's the main priority discipline and stop letting my Lack of motivation get in the way like it did this week We can't have three days out of the gym like unless like okay cool. We have work to do I get it But we can't be like oh, it's raining. I don't want to go to the gym girl get up and go Please just stop. We don't have time summer baby summer's almost here we don't have time for no excuses so i definitely just need to get in that discipline era and rely heavily on that and not like the motivation aspect and i definitely encourage you guys to have a solid routine because that definitely helps you with discipline knowing what exactly it is that you need to be doing um and then also eating at home like last month this current month because you know we're you know ending this month tomorrow or sunday i'm so confused <laughs> this video is going up on the first so just to kind of conclude the month like eating at home for the majority of the month maybe ate out twice probably went to pot belly and then chipotle once like my skin so clear no cross contamination of the dairy okay so i love that for me and then being less bloated feeling more energy saving more money like you have food at home is definitely the motto and we're going to continue on with that just going to the grocery store when we need to planning out our meals and staying prepared having meals already prepped and stuff definitely something i need to continue with moments like now when i'm starving marvin you know it would be great to just boom grab something out the fridge so yeah it was a really good march this year honestly is flying by so quick and i have no doubt that spring is just gonna fly by too and before we know it we're gonna blink and baby it's bikini season and i'm gonna be on a beach somewhere getting a tan i want to have hella tan lines i want to feel sexy in my bikini i want my back to be shredded so i definitely want to continue working on upper body days not as much as lower because you know we're still lower body focused but putting an emphasis on the back um yeah so that's basically my goals and reflections the cardio thing is definitely something that i'm enjoying still and the sauna those two together mixed with the oxy shred and like the creatine like those are like my perfect combo i feel like the sauna has really cleared up my skin too i feel like i sweated off my eyebrows but like my skin like my pores just feel cleaner and just being able to just sweat like i'm a girl that loves to sweat in the gym argue with your mama i don't care about sweat stains like to me it makes me feel like a baddie got a little glisten to the skin yeah we love it i really don't want to go to the grocery store that means i have to spend money easily a hundred dollars my budget 53 cents <laughs> like literally i saw this post it was like a meme or whatever on instagram so freaking relatable my budget this week 53 cents yeah felt that felt it and now i already know the store's gonna be super packed i'm so far away <sighs> i'm also just hungry there's a pot belly y'all the urge to go there but i'm like at this point i don't mind getting convenience quick foods from traders at least i know exactly what is in it no cross contamination but it still is cheaper than going to like a pot belly or like i haven't even been to a chick-fil-a 
So I'm like, what can I get that I don't really have to cook? <sighs> Aloha rolls and turkey, easy protein right there. And I have chips at home, yeah. So I don't really know. I did not make a list and I'm usually always prepared whenever I go in here. I'm thinking chicken fajitas. This bag, love it. But girl, the strap stays twisting on me. But I'm gonna still wear it though. I'm thinking I could do like some, they have chicken fajitas, like the chicken with the veggies. All I have to do is just get like some avocados for guac. What's going on with this? I'm like, that'd be good meal. I like their fire, is it like fire? orange looking tortillas there we go girl i can't think because i'm i'm starving marvin what am i gonna buy that's the thing i'm not trying to spend a lot of money i'm also not trying to be this far away but it is what it is i need to hurry up so i could get home these are actually disgusting. <laughs> Clean your headphones. Chicken fajitas. I still am waiting for the mangoes to come back in season, y'all. Um, I'm pretty sure I ate molded blueberries this week. It's hurt my stomach upside down. So I need to get some type of like a fresh fruit for the week. Um, I have bananas. fajitas turkey sandwiches i have a ton of protein in the freezer don't feel like defrosting it so you know what i haven't bought their balsamic chicken in a while that was some rice and some veggie slaps sometimes it'd be really dry though the way that they prep it so i don't know we'll have to check how that's looking definitely gonna get some fried rice definitely getting orange chicken Ooh, they have these pork tamales. Oh, I'm trying to give up pork though. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. We're going to see what they have. Burritos, we love burritos. I got to pee for sure. And then I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, I think I might have some freezer bags. Ooh, ice cream sandwiches. Y'all, I'm all over the place right now, but Future and Metro Boomin's album, love. That's all I listen to excuse me pretty much on repeat and i'm waiting for drake to drop that album 53 cents turned to 69 dollars i didn't even really get that much but it was all convenience food and i was looking at dates look at your expiration dates try to find the ones that expire further away because then you have more time to eat it it doesn't go bad some stuff i got girl it expires on like the fourth or the second i'm like that's tomorrow who has the time to eat all of that so i got a salad i think i'm gonna eat that when i get home and i could not find chicken fajitas my location's so tiny and y'all know i don't live by a traders so i kind of get what i can get and like they used to have let me know if they have them at yours these like cuban style black beans we have them in la so good i miss them they're like perfectly seasoned um we used to have the little pita packets with pretzels instead of the pita chips. Those are good. Like, I just can't find those things anymore. We don't even have all the seasonings. How are you going to be Trader Joe's without all the seasonings? But I will say, Trader Joe's is the only store that I've seen that has all the checkouts open. So, God bless. Because they stay packed and busy. But I'm going to push the whip and get home. I could not find my oat milk ice cream. No mangoes in sight. So 35 minutes, not too bad. I did pee, we love, because you already know. But there's a lot of people out, I forgot, because Easter, Friday, everybody's getting their stuff. Badass kid, somebody done bit my finger. No time for this. But I think what I'm gonna do, I need to get on the computer and edit some content from today. And probably make this salad, actually. I grabbed this one. This lighting is not. Is what it is um the chinese inspired salad they do two versions of this one with like a peanut dressing obviously i'm not gonna get that one this one actually looked good today sometimes the lettuce is like super brown but this goes off on the second which is on monday so i have to eat it basically today and i haven't picked this up for a while if you guys used to be around on like my other youtubes 
then you know that I used to buy this every single Trader Joe's run. They're balsamic vinegar and rosemary. I swear they used to give us more. This was like a lot. I want to say that was like $6. Vegetable goizas. Chicken fried rice. I gotta make room in the freezer. Some orange chicken. And like each one of these I get two meals out of it. So that's not bad. And I really didn't get that much. I pretty much go to Trader's just for like the frozen stuff and like things I can't find at Wegmans. I got one bag for me and then one to take to my grandma's tomorrow. Trader Joe's pissing me off one day at a time. Count your days because their Aloha rolls used to be literally my favorite. I went to Trader's today. Girl, I bought two because they used to have like five grams of protein per roll, which was so lit. I just saw this new recipe. Something told me, check the back. Girl, why is there milk and whey? Like, what is the reason it was fine? And why is it only two grams of protein now? What is the reason? I'm really happy I did not eat it and something in me told me, read the back, because I want my money back now, okay? Oh, here's my bill, let me see, how much was that chicken? $5.99, no, that was the turkey. Those tamales were $7? Because no, nah. oh, there is four in here. These are so good. And you can freeze them too. These last until May, dang, May 10th. That balsamic chicken was $7.99. Y'all, this stuff used to be like $3.99 and you would get like two chicken breasts. 14 of it was on the orange chicken, which I'm not even mad. I got some turkey breasts for those alo aloha rolls and blueberries, which I'm definitely gonna eat these up. I like putting it in my yogurt and oatmeal. And then for a quick snack, like in the nighttime, when I don't feel like cooking and like doing dishes and stuff, I like to have stuff like this. And this also goes off on the 4th. So I gotta put this in the front of the fridge. And that's why I've been doing smaller hauls of getting fresher things, eating it up, instead of just buying a bunch of stuff in bulk. And I don't even know if I'm gonna use it or not. So, I mean, I guess that's fine. Some of this stuff will last me a while. I really do love the Asian stuff that Traders has in the frozen aisle and like the Mexican stuff too. I couldn't find my burritos, but they did like this bean and rice burrito or was it chicken and rice and it's non-dairy, but I couldn't find those today. Let's see if I have space. Oh, I don't. What can I eat today? Finish these donuts. Oh, see, I gotta go back to Wegmans. These are so good when you want something sweet because they're like miniature. I have like six or so and it's super sweet for me at that point that I can't have any more but the glazed donut holes gluten-free aisle you just have to microwave them for like 15 seconds and they're like perfect so I'm gonna get that because I need some space and then I'm gonna try Tetris to stock up on oh I have chicken breast in here I need to eat I have a lot of stuff in here shrimp A lot of protein, these biscuits I cook. I don't even like them. They taste so chemical to me. The Pillsbury in the, you know, that tin. Oh, I can't eat those. I freeze them because I was like, I can't eat these. I'm gonna have to learn how to make my own. That's not it. There has to be a dairy-free recipe for biscuits. about having chicken like this it doesn't taste the best
I need to transfer, actually no, it's on this com camera. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I need to transfer footage to my computer so I can edit some real content. And I just chugged so much water. Girl, la 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 la. Not a good idea. You know, the fit was fitting today. I don't know if I want to post these or do a reels. I need to figure that out. But I have my little donuts. They're still frozen. They kind of taste really good, slightly frozen. Yeah, bro. You just ate. Don't be looking at me like that. Cutie. It's five o'clock. I have spaghetti I'm gonna have for dinner. So I don't have to worry about that. And then I would go weigh myself, but <laughs> I'm eating all this food like after I shower, but I'm like, mm, that's probably not a good idea. Wait till tomorrow. Although I might take my measurement from my glutes, as you already know. Yeah. But I need to figure out if I want to upload a vlog today or wait till the first. I need to get ahead of myself in my content. And I feel like I was really good in March doing consistent gym vlogs, vlogging more in public, like at the gym. It took me a minute to get to that place where I'm able to just whip out the vlog for you guys at the gym, but I'm so happy that I have been doing that. And I really want to focus in April on continuing with that. Yeah. But my only thing is I'm in such a good routine. I don't want to be repetitive and boring with the content so y'all can let me know if you still want to see more gym like workout vlogs 